good day from Rome. Rome is such an amazing city. It has everything, you know? And yes, if you wondered, it also has a pyramid. Yes, Rome has a pyramid. Now you may ask yourself, why does Rome have a pyramid? And the answer is because 2000 years ago, Egypt was a part of the Roman Empire. Let's go and check it out. Wow. Wow. It is a tomb uh, for uh, Roman, some Roman uh, high society dude. Um, and yeah, it's pretty amazing. So yeah, there were, apparently the Romans were heavily influenced by the Egyptians and the Egyptian culture. So they just said, hey, we need a pyramid too. So yeah, we built a pyramid. But that is not what we are here for. We are here for another reason. Fascist architecture. And here in the distance, we can already see our first fascist building. One of many that we're going to explore today. Yes, fascism was bad, Mussolini was a dictator, a ruthless dictator. But you can't ignore the beauty of the fascist architecture here in Rome. It's just, what can you do? So I think you can and you should appreciate the fascist architecture and condemn and, and, and be uh, appalled by the fascist history of Italy. But it is a part of Italy's history. The fascists ruled here from the year 22 up until like 44, 45. But many buildings remain. And now let's start with the first building. It is the post office building. Wow. This one is magnificent. It is huge. So right off the bat, we can see it's enormous, symmetrical. Look at the ornaments and the white marble. Very influenced by modernism, by Bauhaus, by all kinds of architectural movements that existed back then. Unfortunately, the dumb Italians surrounded it by a fence for some mysterious reason it does look like it is being used by the post office still beautiful flight of stairs guys look at this look at this entrance so powerful and then as you walk in through those enormous corridor with beautiful pillars just spectacular okay let's take a look inside because I can already tell it's glorious. Salve, posso dare un'occhiata sull'edificio? Grazie. Grazie. Wow, guys. Look at this main hall. I don't know what is original and what isn't. Salve. Non si può? That's it. Italians. But look at this. Original. But <sighs> perché no? Yes, this is vlogging in Italy, guys. You simply get kicked out for no reason at all. Italians, you know, even 100 years past, they are so strict about the rules and the regulations and the law and the paperwork here there's a very cute original post office box of course here on this pillar here and the pillar there you had the flag of italy um, yeah so the post office building there's this very very cute kiosk with this vintage car just sitting here a vintage uh, fiat actually very cute Fiat. Look at it. So cute. And in this bar, just next to the post office building, you can chill and, uh, and have a nice relaxed time. 
right beyond this corner is what I want to show you guys. Are you ready? Look at this. Wow. Can you see it? It is a 1930s beautiful, glorious fascist cinema. Recognize it has the same beautiful marble, white marble from the post office. What you see here is just amazing, guys. You have the original Dopolavoro dei Monopoli Stato. Dopolavoro, so, and the fascist eagle. Still here. And above it is an amazing mosaic depicting like cultural activities. So, Dopo Lavoro dei Monopoli di Stato means Dopo Lavoro, after work, the after work activities building of the state's monopolies, which I guess is like the state, like in the fascist area, all the industry were, were the monopolies of the state, right? So, all the workers essentially uh, came here to enjoy some after work activities. Look at it. And what's amazing is, you know, in Germany, if, it, if this b building were in Berlin, the Germans would erase the symbol, the Nazi symbol, and the Nazi um, scripture. But not here in Rome, not here in Italy. They choose to preserve it, which to me is amazing. Is it good or bad? I don't know. I, I think it's important pr to preserve because this is part of the past, this is part of, of Italy's history. So to erase it, to ignore it, is, you know, you can't erase the history, right? And this is the GIL building. This building belonged to the GIL, G-I-L, who were like the Hitler Jugend, like the Hitler Youth. They were the fascist youth. So this entire building was devoted to fascist youth activities. And right off the bat, here are some amazing things. Okay, first of all, the eagle. Again, the fascist eagle, still here. Two of them are looking to the right. One is looking to the left. Why, I do not know, but that's how it is. And then there's a slogan up top, which says, Necessario vincere più necessario combattere which means it is necessary to win more than it is necessary to fight and way up above it says giovani italiana degli Itopio, which i'm not sure what it means giovani d'italia means the youth of italy Litopio. I don't know what's Litopio, but can you see the the shiny parts of the scripture? I don't know if you, if you can see it in the camera, but I think it's a special material that shines at night time. And originally, you had this special material all along the letters, but through the years, only some of it remained. Posso per qualche minuto? Grazie. Okay, guys. Grazie. We are here inside the GIL building and it is glorious. Just look at it. So, above the main gate, you have this wall scripture and art piece, and it says, Noi siamo gli anticipatori di un avvenire. So, it means we are the anticipated, the anticipating or we are anticipating for a future because remember this is the youth the fascist youth building and so uh, everything is youth themed now right off the bat look at this amazing amazing hall look at it look at the natural light the height of the ceiling just spectacular, just spectacular. and those Amazing, amazing marble pillars. Original, of course. 
and the huge windows giving to such amazing light into this hall and just look at it look at how the sun hits from different angles look how you can see outside into the other part of the building and its windows look at the shape of the shades it's just glorious on this wall you have a huge monument for Mussolini and his Italian Empire and what you see here I have never seen such a thing in, in, in Italy or in Rome okay this is one of a kind it is original of course and it depicts the Ital Italian Empire okay uh, yes Italy was once an empire and uh, a very modest empire it only air quotes controlled two states two lands two peoples but an empire nonetheless it was very short and very bitter period uh, and a stain quite honestly on Italian history and it says noi ti reremo diritto noi ti reremo diritto Maggio Benito Mussolini fonda l'impero I think it's, it translates to we own the rights or something like that and in the map you can see Libya and Ethiopia the two states, two lands that were ruled by the Italians in the 20s during the fascist era November and the M of Mussolini Maggio, May, the month of May Benito Mussolini the, f the founder of the empire how incredible is that they chose to keep this with all the, the pain that it brings with the shame that it brings you know it's like a mark on, on their heads on their, fore, on their foreheads this map this, this legacy and yet unlike the Germans the Italian choose to keep it here to remember remember and never forget fascism and if you ask me it is because they understand that fascism wasn't a period in another history in another world no it took place here it was their grandparents it is in their blood it is in their culture and this is why the danger of fascism always exists like the danger of Nazism always exists in Germany so instead of wiping it out and try to forget all about it and erase it from public streets and public no they will keep it they will preserve it and they will showcase it so they may never forget about their past their dark 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 past now let's move on glorious right so much natural light comes inside and here the other part of the building is yet another cinema which is called cinema troisi hopefully they will let me shoot inside chiuso salve Posso dare un'occhiata qui dentro? Grazie. Ma niente è rimasto originale, mi pare, no? No. Mm. Ma è bello lo stesso. Well, this is the inside of the, of the cinema building. C'è un piacevole bar. Sopra c'è lo studio. Con la terrazza, se vuoi. Con la terrazza. Si può? Certo. Dare un'occhiata? Certo. Vado su così? Vai, vai. Okay, let's go check out what, what they have upstairs. workspace. 
want to bother anyone, but it's a workspace. And here outside, salve. Here outside, we have this beautiful porch where people just chill and uh, have lunch. How cute is that? What I well, need to ask is that anyone can come here and chill. Very cool. You know, I never saw this place. I never went in here. And if I didn't go, and if they didn't tell me, I wouldn't know it exists. So sometimes it's worth it to go in, to ask around. You might discover some cool things. Molto bello, ma come funziona? Ognuno può così? Però H24 tutti i giorni dell'anno. Chi vuole viene fino a che non finiscono i posti. Senza abbonamento, senza niente. Senza abbonamento, senza niente. Gratis, senza consumazione obbligatoria. Proprio solo uno spazio libero per chi vuole venire a studiare, lavorare in silenzio all'interno, invece in terrazza, magari meeting o lezioni. Geniale, grazie. Ciao, alla prossima. Di qua. How cool is that? Anyone can go there and chill and work. It's just amazing. Okay, then we go to the metro. And if you watched my previous film, you know how to do it. With an app, without waiting. By the way, look at this beautiful station. In six minutes. I'm gonna take the metro, the B-line, way to the south, south, south of Rome, to a neighborhood called Eur, which is E-U-R. And in Eur, we are going to see an entire area created by the fascists. And I'm gonna tell you the story of the place when we get there. Rome's fascist neighborhood or ex-fascist built by fascists it's not a fascist neighborhood it was built by the fascists here in the distance you can see the sport hall built in 1960 for the Rome Olympics but this is not what we are here for we are here for fascist architecture and we're gonna get it and then some look at this main road if you see this neighbor on the map it is built in the like a socialist fascist city in a you know the architecture of the area reminds you of how east berlin looks like how moscow looks like how bucharest looks like a huge main lane with buildings in both sides so what is eur well eur stands for exposizione universale roma because this whole complex was designed to be the fair, the World Trade Fair, or the World Fair. Mussolini dreamed of doing a huge fair in the event of the 20th anniversary of the fascist revolution. Unfortunately for him, in 42, the year of the designated fair, there was a war here in Europe. I don't know if you heard about this war. There was a war, so they couldn't do the actual fair. But this complex already was started to get built. It was built by the 30s, by Italy's best architects, in the style of fascism. It has dozens of fascist, glorious fascist buildings. And right off the bat, we can start and see some of them. This is the police building. From afar, we can really appreciate its glory and how beautiful it is. Huge lane in the middle of the of the neighborhood just like in Bucharest, Berlin, East Berlin just like communist architecture mm, and indeed there is resemblance between communist architecture, Nazi architecture and fascist architecture look at those amazing buildings from all sides 
And this monument here, this obelisk, actually is not stolen from other nations, like other obelisks here in Rome. It was commissioned in the 40s and they finished it in the 60s. Wow, guys. Just look at this square. In the middle, this beautiful obelisk. Depicting, I think, um, periods in Italian history. And just look at this beautiful, beautiful complex. Huge. Okay, this is my chance yet again. Okay. Okay, we made it. We made it. Wow. Museo Nazionale Preistorico. The Prehistoric Museum. Look at this huge entrance hall. Such beautiful architecture and beautiful planning not only of the buildings but of the spaces outside of them wow look at this wow look at that guys look at that Look at this overlook at the main square. The might of the fascist party in one frame. Isn't it amazing? Such a shame. Such a shame. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Can you see it? And here we have a mosaic. Here we have a mosaic by the artist Prampolini. And it says Restorato Ait is restored. I guess it was in a bad shape in a bad shape after almost 80 years. It basically says agricoltura, agriculture. So this represents the Italian agriculture. You can see some wheat. Um, very very pretty. Here there's another one and it says le professione delle arti. Ah, wow. So each mosaic is devoted to some part of Italian culture, society. So that one is devoted to agriculture and this one is devoted to art. And you have the music, the, the painting, um, the masks, the carnival. Very cool. Very, very cool, guys. So the story of Eeyore, as I told you, it was meant to be a world fair but the 1942 world fair never happened so after the war Rome decided to make this area into a outside of the city business uh, district and it was revolutionary because it was before any other European capital had a business district for offices and such outside of the city and they were the first to do it so it really brought them prosperity here in the 60s. Guys, can you see this beautiful, beautiful structure? Wow. Palazzo dei Congressi. I'm sure 100% we cannot go inside. So I won't even try. But let's just stand here for a second and appreciate the beauty of this architecture. 
and right to the opposite lies this amazing amazing building which we're now going to check out Wow the most famous building here in Eur is undoubtedly the one we're gonna see right now Il Colosseo Quadrato the four-sided Colosseum yes they are actually naming it the same word Colosseo like the famous Colosseum it is a homage to the Italian nation and in fact originally the building is called the building of Italian civilization Edificio della civiltà italiana and as we get closer and closer we can appreciate its beauty its lightness unlike the other buildings in the complex it is not particularly big it's not about the size for this one it's about meaning it's about essence it's about and we just have to check it out what a masterpiece of a building of modernist architecture just a triumph of a building hidden away here in the outskirts of Rome where no tourists come is this masterpiece which symbolizes fascism Italian history and you know Italian history in the end is the history of mankind right they're intertwined from the Roman Empire to the sacking of Jerusalem and the collapse of the Empire and Da Vinci and Galileo and the church Wow Amazing Un popolo di poeti, di artisti, di eroi, di santi, di pensatori, di scienziati, di navigatori, di trasmigratori People of poetry, of art, of her heroism, of saints, of thinkers, of scientists, of navigators And tra trasmigratori, it roughly translates to um, reincarnators born again I don't know if they'll let me in but we will try we will try Salve Si può dare un'occhiata? Grazie Wow They actually let me in guys Magnificent You know, it's funny, when you go from the lane, it looks so small, but when you get to it, you realize how immense mammoth of a building this is. The horse and the man, together. I'm so happy they let me in, really. I'm gonna do a whole roundabout. This is just beautiful. Overlooking the entire Rome on this little hilltop. There in the distance you see Rome and different statues. I'm not sure what they symbolize, but they're so pretty one in each arc and on each corner a statue of a man and a horse in different positions wow. Salve! Here. 
West Rome and right in there is the, the actual sea. Another statue of a horse and a man. One, two, three, four, five, six stories. Now I'm gonna get cheeky and push my luck and try to get inside. Very slim chances, but we'll try. But just take a look before we try and get in. How beautiful is the overlook to the other side, to the concert hall on the other side, to the lane. Salve, posso dare un'occhiata? Non si può? Solo per un attimo. And of course they won't let me. They won't let me inside. Italians. Okay guys, it is from here, from the glorious Colosseo Quadrato, that I bid you goodbye and I'm gonna end this video. I hope you found this interesting, this voyage among Italian architecture, history, fascist architecture. Yes, it's a dark, dark past of Italy, but we shouldn't forget about it. And I guess even fascism has something beautiful to leave to the world, which just goes to show that almost anything has a positive side, not only negative. Yes, they did horrible things, they ruled with brutal force and dictatorship. But their architecture was simply amazing. That's it guys, see you in the next video.